Okay guys, so let's talk a little bit more about ChatGPT5, but beyond just ChatGPT5, what I really, really want to talk today about is Claude Code and also Codex. Now, if you don't know, OpenAI actually has their own version of Claude Code called Codex. And what I wanted to do today was test Codex with the latest ChatGPT5 model. And I don't think this is actually costing me any money. So this might be an incredibly cheap and free way. I think maybe you just need the pro plan, so $20 way to code like a lot. Now, what I decided to do in this video is to do my benchmark. Now, if you don't know, my benchmark looks a little something like this. I'm just going to go on my school community. This is the benchmark. You basically you create a Next.js app, Next app version 14.2.23, and then you put some images in there that you want it to use. And then you basically just run this prompt here, which this prompt is basically just a way to make a surface website. So if I show you what the website looks like, right? So this is the anthropic version of this website. But what I like to do is I like to see how well a system can build this kind of website, right? And if it can do it well with no errors, then that means that the model is pretty damn good. Now, I actually did this already. So if I just go on terminal here, this is um, Codex right here. It's very, very easy to install on Mac anyway. I don't know about Windows. I haven't tested it. But on Mac, is extremely easy, right? And I just did slash status at the beginning. And you can see name, GPT-5, OpenAI, reasoning medium, reasoning summaries, auto, right? So I just had a look here. I just fed the prompt, as you can see. That's just literally the prompt that I just showed you, by the way. First link in the description if you want to join the school community. And yeah, basically, it just ran through this entire process. And I really, really wanted to test this because I, w w the thing I truly feel about these things, are like something like Klein is made by someone who doesn't have like all of the information, right? Rucode, Klein, Cursor, maybe Cursor has a bit more information just because of how close they are to some of these companies. But like what I, in my mind, like who would you rather use? The people who make the LLMs or people that use the LLMs? You'd rather use the software of someone who made the LLM, right? Because they know exactly how they work. Now, I, want, I wanted to try Codex because I was going to make a video about the problem with GPT-5. There not being a good version of, for example, Claude Code. But I've now tested this and I must say I was pretty impressed. So this is the entire process here. It did everything I asked. It fixed the ES lint errors, and then it built the entire project, right? So if I just show you what the project looks like from ChatGPT's perspective, I think this will kind of show people what I'm talking about. So let's just have a little look. Now, first of all, this is quite simple design. I don't necessarily hate that. Um, I actually think this looks quite nice, to be honest with you. But the important thing is like how much of this is working. So if I click on it, for example, okay, so the Italian version works. Let's click on private parties. Okay, some of these images are not that good. Um, there's a lot of stuff actually missing here. Okay, this is not very good either. This is actually fairly basic, to be honest with you. Now, I will say it's done a good job and it does work, but this is a pretty basic attempt. Now, this, th this actually leads me to this kind of style right here. So I've basically just written this out. So I'm just going to read this to you guys. I'll be discussing the biggest problem with ChatGPT5, which is probably not what you think. One of the things that stopped me using ChatGPT constantly is that it cannot be used inside Claude Code. There's something about Claude Code. It's not Claude itself. It's not the model. It's Claude Code that is the good thing. And I'm going to talk about that in today's video. So why does this matter? So like this is a super, super basic attempt, actually. Like I thought I was making a video because I didn't really click on everything before I started recording. I thought I was going to be making a video about how good Codex is, but yeah, it turns out that it's actually not that good. It's done a pretty basic attempt here, I would say. Like, it, everything works, but it's extremely basic. So, why does this matter? Most other coding systems are created by new companies that do not know the ins and outs of these models. Or, in this case, OpenAI have just released like their own version of it, but it just doesn't have the same checks and balances to ensure that it's actually finishing a project, right? Anthropic, on the other hand, made Claude Code for one speci specific reason, to speed up their engineers. This is key. It was never supposed to be a consumer thing. It was supposed to speed up Anthropic engineers. This is the super, super interesting thing about this. 
What does this mean? It means every prompt, every workflow, every agent inside Claude Code is built with all of the knowledge of how its models work. This gives them an extreme advantage. While OpenAI has their own version of Claude Code, which likely just got a huge upgrade with ChatGPT 5 being released, it's not as good as Claude Code. And I actually wrote this without testing this. So I decided to, I couldn't make this video without testing it. And I was right. It's no, it's not even close to Claude Code. The issue basically is the intelligence of the model doesn't always matter as much as the system that has been built to use it. And I asked ChatGPT to give me an analogy here. Think of it like putting a rocket engine on a bicycle. Yes, it's powerful, but without the right frame, controls, safety systems, no, it's not going to work, right? And you might just crash. So it doesn't matter how intelligent GPT-5 is. What actually matters is how good Codex's prompting is. Because Claude Code is just an agentic system of prompts, right? Same with Codex. Now, I'm not saying the other alternatives to Claude Code, Cursor, Client, Recode, Codex, whatever, are comparable, comparable to bicycles in this case, but it demonstrates the point quickly and easily. If the system isn't built as well as Claude Code, the end result isn't going to do as well. And it's not a question of money. I know OpenAI is worth more. It, it, that's not... It's not the important thing in this case. In this case, it's a question of specification and business culture. Anthropic is clearly a very insular company. It's not even a public company. They do everything internally. Everything is just, you know, making and Claude the best possible model. In my opinion, they've been extremely dedicated to being the best for developers for a very long time. Whereas ChatGBT has just been focused on being the everything AI. And Google is obviously a little bit more focused on, you know, their billion dollar company Google, right? They're not like they want to compete, obviously, but their main thing is AI overviews, keeping people on Google, keep people paying for ads. Yeah, they're bothered about being a good LLM model. Obviously, they've shown that with Gemini 2.5 Pro, but like what they're really focused on is SEO, right? Is, is Google because that's where their money comes from. Their money comes from ads. So if people stop using Google, they're fucked, basically. So I think that's a really interesting way of looking at it. So where does this leave us? A company that is growing massively in revenue due to their core product, Claude Code, and their SOTA models, Opus and Sonnet, releasing a tool that they weren't even sure they should release to the public. There's actually a, there's an interview with a guy that made Claude Code, Boris. I don't know his surname or terrible names, but Boris. And he was saying, and this is when I knew it would be cracked. They were saying, we're not sure if we should release this to the public, basically. They had meetings about it because it's that damn good. And it's laser focused on being the best when it comes to coding. This is the super important thing. So although ChatGPT is a huge leap forwards for OpenAI, if the tools aren't there to back it up, in my opinion, most people are just going to stick with Claude Code. If you've used Codex, if you use Gemini, and if you've used Claude Code, I think most of us would agree that Claude Code is better. It's definitely better than Klein. It's definitely better than Rue Code. And that's just the way it is. Like it's a specific tool made for a billion dollar company for their own specific internal use. It was never even supposed to be a commercial thing. So yeah, I mean, try out Codex for yourselves if you want, guys. But honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my time. Like this is, this is super basic. So if it can't even do this, yeah, it's not going to do anything good for you guys. Claude Code is a thousand times better than this. I'll leave the video there. I just wanted to talk about this quickly because um, I really think that people don't really understand why Claude Code is just so f fucking good, basically. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.